Is this thing on? Are we live? Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Now today's video is gonna be, well, it's a warning video or how do I get this back kind of video and it's to do with developer options on your Fire Stick. Now this might not be on your Fire Stick but as it isn't on every Fire Stick device. Many reports are that it's just on the Fire Stick Lite. So I would like to know if this affects you and what a device you've got so that we can have more information so that we can pass it on to other people. But generally speaking, this is to do with putting on apps that aren't available on the Amazon store, which we all like to do, third-party apps. And it's to do with developer options and also ADB debugging. This isn't a new thing, but what we're going to talk about that a little bit after I explain how to get it back, because that might be missing for you. So I'm just going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. And I wish I could actually show you exactly what I'm talking about because my device, which is an Amazon Fire Stick 4K, doesn't have this problem at all. But if we normally just go into your settings here, and then we get down to My Fire TV, you would find that under About, there would be no developer options. Now, if you click on Developer Options, you will then see ADB Debugging and Apps from Unknown Sources. Now, ADB Debugging is always something I recommend that you turn on. It's something that I haven't used for years, and it's basically, if you want to put on an app or a file from an unknown source, or you want to put it on from remotely from your desktop, or you can also do it wirelessly from an Android phone, then AD debugging is something that you need. It's something that I have not used since Apple TV two days, which is years, maybe six years ago, maybe even longer than that, maybe eight years ago. So it's not something that, I've, that we'll be using a lot, but it's also something that I'd rather have there but reportedly that's been taken away and how to get it back if you haven't got developer options is basically you click on uh, you go back one you go into fire tv then you click on about and then when it says fire tv whatever yours says whether it's fire tv light fire tv 4k whatever then you have to click on that seven times now it's a little bit useless because i don't have that problem but what you would do is just click on it five seven times that's two three four five six seven and basically run about the fourth time you click on it it will come up at the bottom of the screen that you're now entering into developer options or you're already a developer or you need to click it a couple more times and uh, what will happen is once you go back developer options will be there, it will be back. A little bit annoying that they're doing that, but it's not a new thing. Because if you own a Google Chromecast 4K or an other Android device, now this is something that they've always had. Now, when I bought my Chromecast 4K uh, brand new, initially, I didn't know how to put on apps that were out with the Play Store. Now, there is an option how to do it, and it is similar to that. You have to click on I can't even remember, it's so long ago since I've done it, I'd need to look it up. You have to click on something for similar to that four or five times. And then once the developer options is then enabled, you'll never have to do it again unless you factory reset your device, which is probably something that they're doing uh, with the Amazon devices, whether it's to do with uh, the Amazon soft, the Android software, I don't know but it's certainly something that isn't new and it's nothing really to worry about because the option is there. It's just basically an option that probably maybe confused a lot of people and thought, why is it there? And, uh, and it's something that isn't really needed for most people who just use the Amazon device for Amazon services or for Netflix and not for the kind of things that we might want to do. So hopefully that clears up. I'd love to know if you've been affected by it. I haven't been affected by it at all. I have got several Amazon devices and not one of them has been affected. It is to do with the new update that I'm sure you've, we've all got now. I didn't do a video on it because I never got it until everybody else had it. And there were so many videos out there that I thought, well, What's the point in me doing a video now that everyone's had for three or four weeks? So it's not 
it's old news basically and I didn't want to bore you with it but it is a great update and I will be doing another video on the update about a feature that you might not be aware of it so if you would like that kind of video or to see that kind of video then you know what to do. And just before I go, I want to show you something that I'm also doing on Amazon and I've got a storefront on Amazon. Uh, if I just click on here and that is my storefront. It's called Stu's Tech Time. It's my old name, I get you, but uh, that's what it is here. And it will show you that all my, all my uh, reviews that I've done on Amazon. Uh, so if you'd like to see any of those reviews, then please check out that page. Uh, especially if you're in the market for those products because I get a little bit of a kickback from it. It's a new venture that I've got, so hopefully that'll kick. It will work out for me. Really, really excited about that. My new avenue into a different platform, I guess, but I will still be doing the YouTube platform as well. That's it. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video about that really good up thing about the thing about the update really good thing about the update well you know what i'm talking about the really good thing about the update <laughs> bye bye the really good thing about the update what are you talking about the really good thing about the update the update the really good feature about the update that's what i should have said <laughs>